Hey, what's up you guys? It's Steve from Network Advisor. So check this out. This is network monitoring software. Kind of got interested in this while I was studying for my CompTIA Security Plus. So this is Avic, and I kind of just found this by accident, but what's cool about it is you can do a trial uh, at no cost, and you don't have to leave a credit card. So basically you just sign up for the trial, and the trial's over. You don't have to worry about canceling before your credit card gets charged. Anyway, so what's cool about it and what I want to share with you is the way that they do the collection. So the collection is the agent that has to live in your environment to be able to, to collect the network information and, and monitor it. So you set up a site and then, so like for instance, I have like, you know, obviously my home office and then I also have a lab. So I go to set up this, this collector and what was neat was you could do it in a few different ways. You could either install a piece of software or you could install a VM, which is already pre-made as an appliance. Or lastly, you could do this, create a machine yourself. And at first I was like, why would you want to go to that much trouble? But then I realized if you had a hardened environment, you may have special machine requirements. Anyway, so what I chose was the, the VM and it's, you download this OVA file. And since it's about a gig and a half, I'll just go ahead and skip to the past this. All right, so got the OVA and I'm doing a import. So I say, okay, go browse to it, import the OVA. So the OVA itself is not the machine. It's just like the importable file that then creates the, uh, the VMware uh, instance. All right, so get my path all set up, import. Here we go. I sped it up a little bit. It did actually took like, I don't know, a minute and a half, but I put it on four times speed for you there. All right, so got that. Now go ahead and launch it. Now I actually am, you know, voiceovering after I did this because I didn't know what I was going to find or what I was going to see as I as I did this, and uh, it goes through this kind of a lengthy startup process because I guess there's still some installation stuff that it still has to do, and uh, this whole process I want to say probably took I don't know three maybe five minutes. Because obviously I've got it, you know, on like eight times speed or something like that. And then ironically, after I got it all up and running, I kind of realized that I should have done some things to the VM's um, network card settings before I uh, before I installed it. Because it actually ended up coming up on the wrong network. But I'll get to that here in just a second. So once it finished, you just get this kind of basic command line menu. And of course, the first thing you need to do is establish the IP address. I thought it was interesting here that it offered DHCP as an option because it said, I remember somewhere in the documentation said, do not use a DHCP address. You know, In other words, use a static address. Anyway, so I'm just going to go with a 10 dot. Now, my network is actually not a 10 dot. I use, you know, typical 192. But what I'm going to do is put this on my lab, which is a 10 dot. And I got to put in the mask. And then I got to put in the gateway. I was kind of pausing here for a second, trying to figure out if I just type the dash and hit enter, it just takes the default. Okay. All right. And we'll do the same thing on the uh, DNS. I'll just take the defaults. Dash, enter. Okay. Uh, it's warning me that I'm getting ready to change the IP address. That's fine. Let's do it. And as I suspected, it, there's no connectivity because I'm on the wrong network adapter. So, you know, in, in VMware, you can have more than one network adapter. So I need to go switch that. So let's go take care of that and see what happens. Okay, there's the network adapter I meant to use. So if you guys aren't familiar with VMware, it's super cool stuff. It's great for labs because you don't have to have as many boxes. So I do more video on VMware if anybody's interested. But the few times I've done VMware videos, nobody ever seems to really be into it. So... Uh, let me know in the comments. If you want me to do more VMware, I'd be happy to because I love VMware. All right, let's get this guy back up and see the magic of uh, the collector in action. So the re once you've done the initial install, rebooting isn't nearly as long. All right, so now what I'm going to do is go over to the portal. So this is not, I'm not on the VMware. I'm actually using a web portal right now. I'm getting logged in to the Avic portal because all your information is visible here. So the, the VMware instance doesn't have any graphical user face, at least not one that I'm aware of. 
So it still hasn't completely come online yet because it's still showing zero of one online with a collector. Okay. Now it looks like we're better. I want that. Okay, there we go. So see how connection shows connected. So now up above is a network map that's beginning to build. Um, what was confusing to me at first was how it's finding so many devices because I knew there wasn't that many on my lab. But then I remembered I had it briefly connected to the wrong subnet. So maybe it picked up all that that fast. Now what's interesting is the longer this thing stayed connected, the more information it found out and the map would grow bigger and more detailed. And I'll save that for a different uh, conversation because I really don't know enough about the software to be able to give you a good overview on it yet. So I'll save that from a different video. Mostly just wanted to show it to you and show you installing the OVA, you know, the VMware instance. So that was pretty cool. All right. Well, if you want to check it out, there's my link. The links in the description also. It is an affiliate link, but if you click the trial, you can do the trial all day long. It doesn't, I have no skin in the game. I don't get compensated for you guys doing the trial. Okay. I appreciate you watching. Thanks.